So putting off procrastination is a theme for today. And I'm gonna show you how releasing yourself from the weight of procrastination will free you up to make that, that next level leap, that launch that I, that I always talk about, that you've been waiting for. So, why do it today when you can do it tomorrow, right? How many times have you asked yourself that question? You're like, ah, oh, I'll just get to it tomorrow. Procrastination is like a disease. Uh, I do believe it's contagious. Uh, and given the right environment, it can spread throughout every aspect of your life, mm -hmm. which will hold you back from achieving your true potential. Eliminating procrastination means getting rid of your own self-doubt, getting rid of some of that thoughts in your brain simplifying your thought process. I've been talking a lot this season about minimizing, simplifying, making things easier, and that's gonna help you to grow. You get more done with less effort. Um, so simplifying your thought process here when it comes to procrastination is very, very important. This is so much larger and more important than just you know, not putting off your work. It's not about forcing yourself to do what you said you were gonna do. It's, it's really a full change of mindset. So with these three techniques that I'm about to show you, you can shift your mindset, you can increase your productivity, and it will take you less time than it will take you to make breakfast or to make your coffee in the morning. <laughs> See what I did there, Sam? It's a Coffee with Dr. Scott show. And I, no, anyways. So first thing you need to do is take stock of your successes. The brain's default setting, unfortunately, is often negativity. Uh, that depends person to person, but for, for most people that I talk to, the brain's default setting is negativity. We're looking for, <clears throat> we're always looking at why we can fail. What's going to happen to cause us to fail? I'm going to set this down over here. Mm -hmm. The only way to truly beat procrastination is to silence that nagging voice in your head, the one that tells you to not even try because you're probably going to fail if you do. You've got to silence that. Now, I know that patting yourself on the back can be a lot more difficult than it sounds. You know, if your opinion of yourself is in the dumps, then any kind of praise, even from yourself, can feel false. But that's the, the setting that you need to change. You need to switch it to positivity so you can work your way through the fog. So each day, and this should take less than five minutes. Again, I come back to it often. I, I love the five-minute journal. But at the end of the day, write down all of your successes for that day. Uh, and I've admitted before, I don't use the nighttime part of this journal very often, but uh, one thing it says here is three amazing things that happened today, and then how could I have made today better? Um, I just do that mentally uh, while I'm laying in bed as opposed to writing it, because I leave this out here in the in headquarters. But at the end of the day, write down all of your successes for that day. And if you didn't have any at work, think of something at home. And it can literally be anything. It's just a matter of rewiring your brain for success. So if you scored a free cup of coffee at the drive-thru, uh, or, or if it was a big one, if you landed a big client, uh, you signed up a new patient, whatever it might be, whatever it is, write it down, focus on it, focus on that success. It doesn't thumbs matter up. how small or how large. Did we get a thumbs up? That's awesome. That's your mom, by the way. Uh, it doesn't matter how small or large that success is. Because again, simply acknowledging it, acknowledging that successes exist is what is gonna to begin to rewire your brain. So as you're going through your day, we wanna be thinking about those successes, thinking about things that you can accomplish, things that, that go well, so we get rid of some of that negativity and get rid, get, bring it into more positivity. The next technique for putting off procrastination, however, uh, is to assess your motivations. Why are you doing what you do? Why, if you have a to-do list, of a, thing, a bunch of things to do, that you are procrastinating on, you're pushing them off tomorrow, think about why you're doing those things. Don't look at them just as a list of things to do. Think about your why. You know, why are you working towards that particular goal that these particular to-do items are going to help you accomplish? And newsflash for you. If your motivation comes from constantly comparing yourself to others, then you're doing it wrong. You know, your motivation should stem from your own personal goals. Uh, the other subject that's been throughout the theme here the last uh, month or so of the second season has been happiness. Your motivation should, should come from that own happiness. The goals that you've put together that are going to make you happy not to compare with other people. Uh, so look at your own personal happiness. Are you leaving? No. Okay. So consider your own personal happiness uh, in these things and think about your why. Think about your motivation. 
I mean, it, I get it. Everyone compares themselves to someone else at, you know, at some point. Uh, actually, funny, I mentioned in the pre-show that uh, I did a CrossFit competition this uh, on Saturday. Yes, yes, uh, yes. And it was a uh, pretty laid-back CrossFit competition. I was in the scale division with a buddy. We, were just, we said we were just going there to have fun. Uh, and as we got up to the start line of the first event, uh, the two guys next to us, it was partner competition, uh, said the same thing. They were like, oh, it's all about having fun. But both of us kind of looked at each other like, and beating the person next to you. <laughs> so, yeah, we went there to have fun. But once the competition started, we wanted to compare ourselves and our fitness to the people next to us. It's the same way in life. There's always that little bit there. Uh, but you really need to look at your motivation. The trick is to not let it consume your personal and professional life, that competition. Uh, you know, the last couple of Financial Fridays, I've talked about uh, the way we compete with our things and our material stuff. Uh, we can't let that consume us. We can't want everything because somebody else has it. Uh, we've got to want things that bring us happiness, that, that truly bring out what's best inside of us. So we're trying to rewire your brain to go after what, what will make you happy what will make you content in life, and not what someone else is telling you to want. Uh, obviously, again, I've talked about a materialistic society, the commercials that we have out there, everybody's trying to sell you something, uh, and they make you want it, because they, they're inside your psychology, they know, they know how people think, uh, and they make those commercials to make you want something, but think about your motivation, think about if it's something that you do truly want. And if you're chasing something that is not truly what you want or what makes you happy, there's gonna be a great tendency to procrastinate. If we change those goals and make them to the things that do make you happy, that procrastination will be a lot less, trust me. Uh, so again, look at your motivation. Look at why you want the things you want, why you want to do the things that you want to do, the, those things on your to-do list. Um, find your motivation for those things, attach to them, make sure they're giving you great happiness. Procrastination will pretty much dissolve at that point. Okay, so, um, Last thing I want to talk about as far as procrastination is concerned is goal visualization. Procrastination is all about forecasting the future, really. Basically, when we procrastinate, we're, we're manufacturing something for yourself to fear that doesn't even exist. And I know there's that, you know, fear is false evidence appearing real. That's, that's all over the place. Um, kind of cliche. But we are, we're creating something that doesn't exist. Uh, so that procrastination is saying, I don't want to do it because I might fail. I might, you know, I put it off till later. But those are things that, that you're creating in your own mind. Your brain is designed to try to predict the future. You know, and as we talked about earlier, the brain's default setting is, is negativity. So naturally, your, your imagination will run with every negative scenario and, and every disastrous possibility that you can think of. It'll start telling you, you know, if you try this, this might happen. And you get these, this negative feedback. The only way to stop this type of overthinking is to replace it with something else. You've got to create a space and put something new in there. So as an experience, as an experiment, make a short-term goal. Pick anything that you could achieve within a day or two. Something pretty simple. Then in the morning, do some visualization. Imagine yourself reaching that goal. Imagine the feelings that you're going to have when you reach that goal. Imagine the excitement, the little you know, surge of euphoria from accomplishing something. Think about realizing your goal. And again, this is a small goal, but when you think about realizing it, that'll trigger that biological response within your body. And again, these are things that uh, advertisers and, and video game makers all use against you. Those small little goals that you hit that, that become bi biological responses, you wanna take them and use them for you. Because when that happens and you get that little biological response in your body, your mind will naturally fall into a productivity rhythm. It wants more of that. So as the day wears on and you're, you're starting to accomplish your goal and you're getting closer and closer, the goal that you set will feel more and more possible. You start to ride that wave of productive feelings uh, and typically go to that goal or even past it uh, because of the incentive, the reward that you're getting. And most likely getting that goal will be faster and easier than, than you ever imagined. So with those three simple techniques that I just gave you, you can easily conquer your procrastination. You can put off your procrastination until tomorrow. Uh, your new positive mindset will drive you towards bigger and more ambitious goals. You will truly be able to start achieving them. You will be able to launch the way I always talk about and get some momentum in your life. 
uh, when you start doing the things you should do today, when you do them today, we start to build momentum uh, and you can get growth quickly and easily. Comments down below if that interests you. I hope the show today inspires you to look more closely at, at your mindset and at your work habits. Be sure to check us out tomorrow and every weekday morning at 7 a.m. Uh, again, pre-show starts at 6.50. Until then, enjoy your coffee. Say goodbye to everybody. Bye. Have a nice day.